Alrighty. All right, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. What's up, my immune friends? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Missed Survival. It is 7.43 in the morning. I slept a little bit later than I wanted to. I slept a little bit later than I wanted to. But we're going to get up out and about today. What we're going to be doing today, I have like 50 episodes of crap I want to do. It is incredible how much stuff I want to do in this game. I want to build. I want to build walls. I want to move over there. Uh, let me show you what I've done so far around the base. Because I have done a couple of little things here and there. I've noticed that there's never any infected out during the night, which is pretty cool. Scott's been just going ham. I mean, <laughs> I'm going to have a hard time using all the logs. This nut job cuts down. Uh, I love this guy. I love this guy. You know what? You are no longer... Eh, I'm probably still going to call you Cockflock, Scott. Um, I usually like rescuing the women because I like women. And, you know, Scott, I called him Cockflock Scott. Now I'm going to call him Woodchopper Scott or... Uh, you know, some Lumberjack Scott. Scott the Lumberjack. Something like that. Because this guy is freaking phenomenal. You know, I went into last video going to rescue hostages thinking, I want Kate or Rachel. Scott can go to hell. And I came out of there thinking, Scott's the best one. Now, you might be asking, Cage, why do you think Scott's the best one? I've heard tales. And I can't confirm this myself because I have not rescued the women yet. But I've heard tales that Scott is the only one who will cut down trees. Can anyone confirm that in the comments? Because if so, I really lucked out getting Scott, okay? I mean, the girls can still, like, you know, um, can still craft for you, but it's like, eh, whatever, you know? Um, I want people to cut down trees for me. Anyway, this is what I've done. I've, I've started a storage room back here. I've got some uh, stuff over here. This is going to be the way the storage room is going to be. I'll probably have uh, one more set of these coming out, and I'll stack them all the way up to the ceiling. It'll be a major storage room. I'll probably have storage down here. Now, if there's a window the infected can break in, people say, oh, put, you know, lockers in front of it. Block it with lockers. Block it with this. Block it with that. But then other people have told me they've blocked the windows with their lockers and the infected break the locker and you lose everything in it. So I don't think I'm going to take that chance. I don't know if that's the case. I don't know if that's going to be a problem. But I'm going to leave the windows alone because, you know, I, I don't want to take chance of losing, like, all the stuff I got in these lockers, right? I mean, these lockers don't have a lot in there, but actually they do have a pretty good amount of stuff. Um, but the thing is, you know, they're eventually going to have a lot of stuff in them and I, I don't really want to, um, I don't really want to lose this stuff. Um, I do have some notes here. I wanted to go over with you guys. So I talked about it. I love Scott. Um, and I'm going to use the shield. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. People tell me to use a shield on the Big Bandit Camp. Now, the Big Bandit Camp is the one that's kind of by my base. And it's got multiple snipers, tons of tons of bandits in there, and just like a hardcore experience. Now, I'm not going to do the Big Bandit Camp today, but I'm thinking maybe next video. And what people have told me is if you walk up to the Bandit Camp with the shield, people are saying use the shield. I said, what do you mean use the shield? This thing gets shot up and it breaks, you know? I'm not going to be able to make much headway before this thing breaks. But people are telling me if I duck and walk up with the shield, the sniper will not fire at me. So, you know what? I think we're going to probably try that next episode. But today, we are going to get a sniper rifle of our own. So we have something to fight against the uh, sniper bandits at the, big, at the big bandit camp. Now, I think I went over this last video on my way to the city. But there is... Yeah, actually I did. I showed you guys the sniper up there. We're going to go get that guy. All right? I'm going to kill him. I'm going to take a sniper rifle. And then when we go to assault the big bandit camp, I'm actually going to have a sniper rifle of my own, which will just be fantastic. I got to be honest with you guys. I can't wait to start building around here. Um, <laughs> next, actually, actually, next video could be a building video. I'm just going to kind of really quickly check these. Um, I, I might go to the... Eh, a little bit of stuff in there, but I'm going to leave I'm gonna leave those two alone. We'll have plenty of storage. We'll have plenty of storage. Should not be a problem. Um, it's already late in the day, and I don't want to lose too much of the daylight, uh, so we're going to get on out there. Anyway, next, next video might be a building video. Honestly, I'm not really sure. Um, I want to take out that big bandit camp, but I feel like we've been doing a lot of uh, exploring and bandit fighting. Um, it might make a better... Let's play if I actually do more building. Um, I really like to build. So, yeah. You know what, guys? It's up in the air right now. I'm not really sure. Um, if we don't take the Bandit Camp next video, we'll... T we'll or attempt to. We'll, we'll attempt to take it the video after. And see how that goes. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Something, something, something with my friends. I just can't wait to get on the road again. Uh... That's my thing. That's my thing in this game. That's I gotta sing that every once in a while. I know I'm a terrible singer and I don't know the lyrics, but, you know, there it is. <laughs> uh, oh, also, those blue doors over there. Um, you know what? Let me show you these blue doors really quickly at the motel. Um, these blue doors were open 
when I came over here. Uh, the developer has since patched the game, and now they should be locked. Right? These blue doors right here should be locked. There we go. Power required. Now, I saw someone bring a generator over here, and generators did sweet F all. They didn't do anything, right? Generators didn't do a damn thing. So, um, some people are thinking we're supposed to use the batteries in here. So, I don't know. Maybe. Um, the thing is, there's nothing in those rooms unless... when, Because I've opened all these doors before he put the locks on there. And there was nothing in any of those rooms. Now, now that the locks are on there, though, maybe I'm thinking that there might be stuff in there. You better put stuff in those rooms, man. If you're going to, like, you know... If we have to go through something to actually get in there, you know, it'd be kind of kind of messed up if we, if we went out of our way to get in there and they were empty. But, oh, wait, hold on a sec. I never saw that before. Hold on. Look at this. I think you guys told me about this, too. Look at that. I don't need a tire, but I will at least... Oh, there we go. All right. More grenade fragments. By the way, those are grenade fragments. Oh, no, that's actually a hand grenade. The, remember the other grenade fragments? I was like, why do I need two types of grenades? Well, the grenade fragments aren't actually grenades. They're grenade fragments, and you need those to craft grenades. So... Um, there's that. Now, I don't know what we're going to do with grenades. Um, I don't really see any situation a grenade's going to really help me against bandits. Unless they're, like, 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 acting like real grenades. Because real grenades, man, if a grenade goes off around somebody, like, they're kind of screwed. They're done. But video game grenades, you, you guys notice this? Video game grenades don't really seem to do much to people. And I'm, I'm assuming this game's going to be the same way. I, I would assume... If I use a grenade, it's going to land next to a bandit, and it's probably going to, you know, do a little bit of damage, but not really do that much, right? Um, now, the grenade was used for the... I forget what the thing was called. What was that thing called that um, is in the mine? There was a big monster in the mine. I forget what it was called, but um, you're supposed to use grenades against the monster in the mine. Now, I don't know if that's the case anymore, um, but, you know, I, I don't see how it's going to really do well against people. I know grenades in real life will tear people apart, and it kind of is a... It's kind of a sore spot for me in video games where you use grenades on people and it doesn't really do much. Kind of bothers me. By the way, there's a road right there that I just passed that goes up into the mountains that I don't know what the, where the hell it goes. If we get time today, like if this sniper... No, it's this one right here. Yeah, I think it's this one right here. I was... Maybe. I don't know. It's the kind of road that goes up in there we're going to check out. If, I, if, I, if this sniper's, you know, goes down pretty easy and, you know, we have some time today, I'll go, um, I'll go see where that road leads to. Also, on the right, there's supposed to be a military compound over there to the right. That's going to be a, a video all on its own. Um, it's a, you know, hardcore military compound. And there's some secrets over there that I want to show you guys. But just in case, you know, you don't know. And maybe if you don't want to be spoiled, I'm going to actually... Uh, I'm not going to say what's over there. I, mean, you, I just want to... I don't want to spoil you. Now, what's over here? So, have I been over here? I don't, I don't know. I don't think I have. But I'm going to park here. Looks like a pretty good place to park. All right, so let's see if we can get to the sniper. Now, I've taken out this sniper before with an M16 or M4, right? But the problem is, and you guys saw this uh, video before last, the the sights on this thing don't, don't quite line up right. You guys said if I zoom in, there's like a dot really quickly, but I'm not seeing any dot, honestly. I don't see any dot at all. So, and these sights don't line up properly. They simply don't. I mean, you guys saw a couple videos ago, man. I had, I had this thing, I had bandits lined up in, the, in my sights and they didn't get hit now there's lots of theories out there on what happened people said tree branches block them um some people said you can only hit the bandits once they're in cover like if, if they don't if they're not like oh damn it oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy how bad am i hurt i'm hurt pretty bad okay well whatever all right so um yeah get, sneaking up on this guy really isn't gonna work that well um, now, do I want to use the shield tactic here? Yeah, let's see how your shield tactic works, guys. Because this is what I was told. I was told, use the shield. I don't know if I need to sneak up. Let's not sneak up, because it's going to take forever. Um, let's see if he shoots us with the shield up. And then if, if he does, we'll try sneaking. Oh, yeah, he's shooting at me. Yeah. So the shield's going to break, right? Yeah, that shield's going to break. If I duck, will he stop? Nope. So maybe that's only the bandits at that one camp. Maybe this guy's different. Because this guy's still shooting at me. Oh, well, whatever. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, boy. Got my shield. How you like me now? I made a lot of shields, by the way. I actually made two extra shields by mistake. Okay. Well, how much damage did that take, dude? He hit that shield a couple times. No, that can't be at 100%. There's no way. 
I can't be at 100%. This one was at 80%. This was at 100. I'm pretty sure I used the one at 100. Doesn't look like it really took any damage. So that's pretty crazy. The shield didn't take any damage. I like that. All right, let's see if we can get this clown. Not, not with the shotgun. Oh, by the way, lean. Yeah, boy. Thank you for the tip, guys. Can I shoot him through the fence? You know what? I'm going to try and get on the other side of the fence. Come on. Really? I thought I could get over there. Um, oh, boy. Yeah, this is not going to... I could probably get behind that car and maybe snipe him from there. But I'm pretty sure you can't shoot through the fence. It's right there. Ha! Nailed him! F yeah! Now, is that the only guy up there? I don't know. I think he is, but I don't know for sure. I think I saw the gun fall. Did you guys see the gun fall? I'm pretty sure the gun fell. I don't see anybody else over here. Yep, there it is! Booyah! I'm not gonna lie, guys. That worked out pretty freaking well. Hell yeah, hunting rifle. You best believe that. Now, back when I used to come here, there used to be bandits here, like, all over the place. Now it's just the sniper bandit. So, if you guys come here, you know, he might add more, more you know, enemies over here. Just be prepared for that. And it does look, it looks like he took out all the loot, too. Um, one of the things I've been seeing on the forums and in my comment section and on Discord is the displeasure at the lack of loot. I think I'm going to send the, the um, developer a message somewhere. Probably over Discord, maybe an email or something. I'll be like, listen, man. Um... People love your game. They freaking love your game. But you gotta do something with the loot. Because I'm telling you, like, they're getting frustrated. A lot of people, it's it's, it's the number one concern I've seen um, from people on this game. By the way, you get stuck here. You gotta kind of, I forget how to do this. Maybe you can't even get up that way. Oh, can I duck through it? Yeah, you can duck through it. Cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna tell them. I'll be like, listen, man. People love your game. They want more of your game. But please address the loot issue. Because I think... I think he wants the loot to be super, super rare, and I don't think people are going to enjoy the game with super, super rare loot. Um, people want loot. I mean, and I'm saying you have to, like, have him swimming in loot, and I've been doing okay with loot. I mean, it hasn't been terrible for me, but I want the game to do well, and, like, everyone loves everything about the game except for the loot, and it's, it's just a little frustrating. I want, I want people to love this game because I really love this game, and I want it to do well. Um, it's a fantastic game. Even with the loot issues, I'm, I'm having a great time with it, but... Yeah, I want people... I mean, this game, like, could be something crazy special, you know? So, anyway. Well, let's loot this area. Why not? Now that he's dead. Let's check out the, uh, the old hunting rifle. Put it right there. Yeah, boy! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Alright, so mouse wheel doesn't scroll in or, in or out any better, so... That's as far as it goes in. Can't pull it out. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I love this freaking gun, and it's going to give me... Now, that shield thing really worked. I mean, people said that the, the sniper wouldn't shoot at you. Maybe I misread it. Maybe they maybe they said that the sniper wouldn't be able to hit you, and I misread they wouldn't shoot at you. I don't know, but... Uh, oh, look at that. Look at that. That's a, that's a crazy spot for a bag. I never would have thought to come in here for a bag. It's crazy. I'm one, more ba I'm one bag away from having my inventory completely open. Wow. I, that's a, that's a very crazy spot for a bag. I don't know why. It just seems weird to me, but in a good way. Like, you know, you gotta, you gotta stay focused. You gotta keep your eyes open and all that good stuff. Uh, oh, nice. A saw. People have been telling me to uh, make stew as well. I should probably make some stew. I don't know if I will, but I probably should. There's got a million things I want to do, guys. Just, you know, just, um, my, my brain starts to get filled up and just wants to explode, you know, <laughs> with all the stuff I need to do. It's great. I love that. I love that feeling, like of, like I gotta do like fifty things and I only have so much time. It's a great, it's a great thing, man. It's a, it's a sign of a great game. Like when when there's like, I got fifty things to do and God, it's gonna take me forever. But it doesn't feel grindy. Like I've been playing World of Warcraft recently and World of Warcraft kind of feels grindy. Um, obviously it's an MMO. You, I mean, you know what you sign up for when you're playing an MMO. But um, also, uh, I've been playing No Man's Sky and No Man's Sky also feels grindy. And I don't, I feel like No Man's Sky feels too grindy, to be honest, but I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't know the game well enough, maybe when I get better at it, but this No Man's Sky, World of Warcraft, Seven Days to Die, Stranded Deep, just been keeping me super busy with excellent, excellent video gaming, and I've been loving every minute of it. 
it's been a tough time for me too because um, I'm losing my, well, where I work. Uh, the place I work at is going out of business. Um, now my boss has multiple stores, so I'm gonna still have a place to work. So I'm not like out of a job or anything. But um, the place I got to go work is gonna it's it's gonna be so much worse than when I, where I work now. So not looking forward to it. And uh, these video games give me a um, you know. Uh, take take my mind off it for a few hours a day, and I, you know, you need that, man. You really need that sometimes, especially, you know. I mean, it's great that I have a job, and I'm not gonna have to worry about not being able to pay my bills. It's wonderful. Plus, YouTube's been doing okay. Um, people on Twitch have been taking care of me. My Patreons are freaking fantastic, so it's all cool. But um, it's still scary, you know. So, all right, you know what? I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna take this apart, and then we're gonna go over there, and we're gonna hit that gas station. So some people have got. A problem with me using the baseball bat they said the baseball bats useless now I'm gonna tell you why I don't think the baseball bats useless um, and we're gonna get into it uh, right here. yeah let me just talk about it right now okay so the reason I like the baseball bat is because you can use it with a shield can't do that with the uh, spear okay now everyone's saying use the axe with the with the shield that's a good point I could use the axe with the shield but here's what I'm wondering the axe takes metal to craft the baseball bats free I've got like 20 of them I have nothing to do with them right um, and the axe takes metal and I you know metal is you know gonna be a problem um, for me so here's the thing does the axe take damage when you use it on a on an infected because if it doesn't, then I agree, and I'll use the axe. Because the axe supposedly does more damage than the baseball bat. I say supposedly because I haven't looked into it yet. But multiple people have told me. Usually multiple people tell me the same thing. It's usually it's usually the fact. Um, so I'm going to assume that the axe does more damage than the baseball bat. If that's the case, and if the, if the axe does not take damage when you hit infected, then yeah, I'm 100% on board with one-handed axe while dual wielding with a shield. I think that's great. Um, if the axe does take damage, well, I mean, it gets a little more complicated there. Although I... You know, with the whole trick in the, in the, um, really? Is this one not, really? That's the first car I've seen the tinted windows that you can't take apart. Wow. What about this one? Huh. That's kind of messed up. What's up with that? Anyway, um, yeah, so, like, I've got a lot of metal, though. I mean, is it really that big of a deal? Probably not. Probably not. But I'm, I'm kind of a, um practical person uh you know uh, use your resources wisely even if you have a lot of them because you're not always going to have a lot of them um i think i'd probably do pretty well in a real in a realistic survival situation except for the fact that i have no survival skills at all um <laughs> and i'm kind of like i don't know i'm kind of like a loud sleeper like I, well actually not so much anymore now that i've lost weight um but i used to snore a lot that might be a problem for me i don't know if i can handle um mentally a survival situation like an apocalypse situation i'd probably i'd probably lose it pretty quickly honestly well i don't know i guess it depends as long as i have autumn with me i'd probably like find the strength to carry on for her but like if anything ever happened to autumn like in a survival situation i'd probably just lose it pretty quickly man i i, I don't think mentally i'm cut out for survival situations or physically that's why I play them in video games. Like, I'm not out there like Bear Grylls or, or Les Stroud or anything. You know, I'm just... I'd rather play... You know, let's just keep our apocalypse stuff to video games. Okay, guys? I think that'll be uh, I think that'll be a good idea. By the way, the loot in this place is really good. This is the kind of loot I want. Now, I don't think this is overpowered. Right? This loot's not overpowered. I mean, I got some loot, but it's not crazy loot. And, um, you know, and that's, that's all I want. I just want to, I just want to be able to get loot. I don't want to walk into places that I'm empty. I don't think anybody does. You know? Um, oh, there go. I got some more boards. Is this like a freaking Lowe's or a Home Depot or something? Okay. So that's it for in there. Let's kind of check outside. All right. All righty. All right. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. The gears are nice because I want to I want to make some more of those security lockers. So the gears would go a long way towards that. Now, can I break? I could probably break those up, but they don't usually drop anything good. So I'm not going to bother. Hammer's a nice find. I don't need tires because nothing on my vehicle is taking damage just yet. And we will take this with us. And we'll just kind of throw this over there by the truck for the time being. <laughs> or or maybe we'll fail at doing that. Um, and then I think... Uh, oh, I thought there was another building here. No, you took the other building out. No, so this is it for this spot. Okay, fair enough. All right, guys, I think it's time we... Uh, we take a look at that side road that I was talking about by the mountain. Um, I think it's a good... I think... Yeah, this is the perfect time. Let's do that. Let's go check that out. You guys probably already know what's up there. But now you get to enjoy watching me find out for myself. Because nobody's told me what's up there. 
So is that it? No, that's no, that's not. I mean, actually, that could be something. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. This isn't the one I was talking about, but this is a, this is another kind of side road, and uh, I do want to go check this out. So let's see what we got up here. By the way, I do have a map of this uh, on my Discord, so if you guys want, go into the description. Let's try that again. Go into the description of the videos and um, join my Discord. I'd be happy to have you to talk to and everything. And I do have uh, the map on my Discord pinned in the Mist Survival um, room. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, is the Mist coming in? It looks like the Mist might be coming in. This looks pretty, pretty tough. Uh, this looks like pretty tough terrain here. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's the mist. All right. Uh, I don't think I want to drive over here, to be honest. I need to find a place to kind of pass the mist. I wonder if you could pass time in the cab of your truck. I don't think you can. And I think um, infected could actually damage your truck. Although people told me they can, but I don't know. It hasn't happened to me, but... All right, guys. I went ahead and slept through the mist. Um, I came up the road that I came up from before. What I did was I actually went back and I slept, um, I slept on a school bus... Uh, through the mist. I got woken up a couple times. Then I stabbed the I stabbed the infected with a shorty, uh, s sharp sharp stick, also known as the spear. Um, you know, got a little bit of loot and stuff. And then I came up here. Now up here is really interesting. This is the um, bandit camp. This is another uh, area I can come to to get the bandit camp. Now if I can get up on this ridge here, uh, now we're not going to hit the bandit camp today. I'm going to kind of scout it out a little bit. But if I can get up on this ridge here, I could have like uh, elevated position against the snipers in their towers. Because right around here is the sniper tower. Let's take a look. Let's see if we can kind of look through here without getting shot. Right? It's right there. Can I lean? I should be able to lean. Can you not lean when you're um ducking or... That's interesting. Wait, I'm not leaning. I'm not sure what's going on with the lean here. You're supposed to be able to lean. Oh, wait. Can you not lean with the sniper rifle? Hold on. Let me try. Yeah, you can't leave with the sniper rifle. That's interesting. Okay, well, whatever. He's right up there. I mean, I come here with some bullets. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he, he looked like he was about to get the beat on me, but I could probably take him if I come up here with some bullets. Let's kind of look around this area and see what else is around here, though. Um, again, we're not going to take this guy today. Um, it probably won't take him next video. Ah, I kind of want to take him. I'm not really sure, guys. I Honestly, I won't know if I'm going to take him next video until I record it. I don't know. But um, I kind of want to build up my base um, because I've done almost nothing with my base. And um, that's part, that's a lot of the fun for me with these games. So, all right. It doesn't look like we can get up that way. Let's come on down here. And let's kind of look around here. If we can get up on that ridge. I mean, he's in a pretty elevated position. But if I can get above him, that would be pretty pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. I just got to remember how to get back here again. But it shouldn't be that hard. So this is like the front. Yeah, it doesn't look like... I'm not really sure you can get up on this right... Well, hold on. Hold on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Okay, come on. Ah, I'm so close. Come up. There we... Oh, really? Jump and then go forward. Jump and then go forward. Yeah, it's weird. It's, it's almost like there's a wall there. But it's just not letting me get up there. There we go. All right, look at that persistence. Oh, great. Now another spot I can't get up. Oh, 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 never mind. Never you mind. Interesting. Come on. <laughs> oh, oh my god. There we go. You just gotta kind of strafe up there a little bit. Come on, strafe you fool. Don't fall. There we go. Wow. I don't know if you're meant to be able to get up here. Oh, he's, did he see me? I didn't. It didn't look like he saw me. Did you see it though? Right there. See him through the grass? See him? Now, I bet you if I shoot at him, that grass... I don't have any bullets for this thing, but I bet you if I shoot at him, that grass will get in the way. Oh, wow. That's a clear shot. That's a clear shot, fellas. Will he ever see me up here? Is this, like, out of his range of view, or...? Hold on. Let's look down here. Yeah, let's just kind of look over here. Oh, there he goes. Okay. So he can see you. He just couldn't see you where I was on the first area. Okay, very good. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to head home. That sniper took me out like a beast. 
So I'm going to head home and I'm going to regroup. And um, I, again, I don't know what I'm going to do next episode. We'll see. I'll have to leave you guys in suspense, but not on purpose. I mean, you're in suspense because I'm in suspense. I don't know what I'm going to be doing next episode either. Um, the next episode will, conti will consist of me trying to take out that big bandit camp or building up the base. We'll have to see. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.